My daughter is now in year nine at secondary school, but she joined Lady Barn in year two. We moved to the area and we're looking for a school to send her to. It was the sort of school that we went to and that we would like to our children to go to and it felt right and it felt comfortable and we liked the way that they seemed to be teaching and the way they treated the children and it just seemed like a, a good school to send them to. Ellie came out of the school and Edward is coming through school and, and they are developing into well-rounded children. They've got the values of, that we would expect them to have and which the school reinforces, whether it's behaviour or attitude to work. And the one thing that we found very different here to the school that Ellie was at previously is that actually there's an ethos that hard work is a good thing and achievement is a good thing. At your level, not everybody's going to be a genius, but everyone is encouraged to achieve the best they can. And there's none of this sort of everyone's a swat or and people are singled out for trying hard. Everyone tries hard and everyone is encouraged to try hard and it, it, it works its way through and they come out achieving, or certainly ours have come out achieving, the level we would expect them to. When Ellie started in year two, the highlight of her year and convinced her that you know it was definitely the right school for her was infant camp at the end of year two, where they trip off to the lakes for a couple of days and stay over and go out walking and do all sorts of activities. And she came back from camp and if she'd ever had any doubts that Lady Barn was the school for her, then they disappeared in that weekend away. At the end of year two, all the children are encouraged to take up a musical instrument. And certainly when Ellie was at the end of year two, she chose to play the cello because that's what Mrs Marsh played at the time. When Edward was coming through at the end of year two, we told him he could play anything other than the violin, but he had to be able to carry it himself because we still have to carry the cello everywhere. It's just an outside interest and I think it just improves that whole thought process. They still both play and even at year nine, Ellie still plays the cello, he's in the orchestra at secondary school and he's going to go on and do GCSE music as well as one of her options just because that love of music that she developed here and that interest in playing and playing in orchestra and, and working her way through that has stayed with her since she went on. Well we were very pleased when Ellie was chosen to be head girl, we were very proud of her, she'd, she'd worked hard and she'd fitted in well, she only joined the school in year two so she hadn't had that two or three years before that to get into it. And it's traditional here that at the end of year six there's a speech at sports day by one of either the head girl or head boy's parents and at the Leavers Assembly and at the Leavers Assembly it was it was our turn to do the speech which my wife did far better than I would ever have done it by doing it as a poem. Uh, recounting her experiences of school and, and Ellie's experiences through the school and I felt very left out because it turned out that Mrs Bowen who was deputy headmistress at the time and my wife were in the same dress and actually had they told me there was a dress code I'd, I think it would have suited me as well. She's flourished since she went to secondary school and I'm sure the experience for Edward will be exactly the same during the course of the next 12 months.